Hello everyone, I am back. After the last Blade Assault video, ah, I, I've got some redeeming to do. I gotta get in there and kill Panis and not actually choke at the very end and lose or softlock myself. And to do that, we're gonna get Darcy, the, the, the best bay Darcy herself. I've already taken a look at what the Black Market has to offer, Iron Maiden, the Awakening Ample and Biker Helmet. We'll take the helmet and I'll take the Awakening since it gives me a movement and attack speed boost. On a 40 second cooldown, pretty good. And I've I've agonized over this. I did lightning last time, and it was between fire or ice for the Darcy run. I'm going to go ice. And I've taken a small look at what these weapons do. This is more so uh, when freeze effects expire, or damaging chilled enemies will discharge a large explosion that freezes all enemies. Except bosses can't be frozen, and I'm not sure the damage is going to add up and do enough. The Frost Shield is very defense oriented for all the chilled enemies, damage that we receive is reduced, and when a Frost Shield, uh, a Frost Shield equal to 5% of our max life is generated every 5 seconds, which is okay for bosses, but that middle effect is just, I'm thinking about Panis. I want to get to Panis and I want to beat him and 0.5% damage reduction is not it. However, Cold Snap, increasing crit rate by 30% and cause a Frost Explosion whenever you damage enemies, 3 second cooldown, sounds very good, and increases crit damage dealt to enemies immune to freeze. In other words, Cold Snap is the boss slaying option. And I very much want the boss slaying option. We're going to talk to our boy here for the upgrade, and I want to make it probably a dash run. I really like doing dash runs on Darcy, so Gust of Shadows, so that whenever we dash, uh, a little shadow version of ourselves appears behind us, you can see it right there, whoosh. And she goes and does extra damage. Now, I'm going to begin the run here. And I think suffice to say, we're not going to be trying to push this towards a skill run. Although, I'm not going to say it won't be a skill type run. But I normally don't do skill type runs on Darcy. I normally try and make it either a basic attack run or I try and go all in on dashing. And it's just right now, just, just saying aloud to you guys... I'm feeling like it might be a bit of a dashy boy run. Although her ability does work really well, like when you kill someone with her ability, it resets the cooldown of it. So if you if you time it right, you can get a lot of chain slashes back to back to back to back. Which is pretty damn cool. However, as you can see here, damn, this is working really well so far. They are too frozen to fight me back. Aha. I might take Cold Cauterization now, just because finding a Hypercore later on might be an issue. And both of these other effects are only okay. I'll take the Hypercore right now. Hypercore is pretty important for me. We'll take a Fire Room. I have figured that because your sub-weapons, uh, what I've discovered in the last run, when your sub-weapon has... Oh! Skill Spam right there. Beautiful. When you get the option of mixing the elements together and making a new element, what I need to do is get a sub-weapon upgrade of a different element type so that when I get the option to make it into a frost one, like that's that's what I'm looking to do, is make it frost. So if I got the flamethrower hypothetically uh, from the fire upgrades, I would imagine I can then have an opportunity to make a frost thrower instead of a flamethrower. Something along that, along that train of thought maybe. Which would be pretty damn cool, I'm not gonna lie. No, just, just die. Don't touch me. Don't hit me. Give me the pizza. And it's trying to give us a weapon upgrade. No. Oh, look, there's the flamethrower right now. You know what? I'll take it. I want to see if I can if I can actually make that happen. Let's take the flamethrower. We leave. We're at the halfway mark. We're going to see max. I, I, uh... Ah! Increases ice core damage. The snowflake vending machine. I could buy two of them, but no. No. Instead... Increase number of dashes by 1, crit rate by 20, and evasion. It's an extra dash. It's critical damage. Ugh, it's a lot, I know. It just basically uses up everything I've got, but I'm okay with it. Increase max MP at the cost of normal attack. No thanks, restock it. Max HP at the cost of skill attack. 99%, uh, no. You're, don't do that. Don't be, a, don't be a dick. Now, I need another restock, sir. Can I please... Increase attack of normal attacks, but decrease skill attack. You know what? I'll take that. Like I said, it's probably not going to be a skill type fight. Instead, we'll call Honk. Honk, honk. Get out here, dude. I'm looking to leave. I don't need to be here. No. Damn it. I am so mad that you give me the stopwatch, which is perfect for this kind of run. Damn it. I won't see another stopwatch for the entire run. You watch. Oh, well. 
I have to live with it. I have to live with it. I have to live with it. It's okay though, because what we're doing here is we're trying to build a strong dash run, and I needed to get my extra dash. Two dashes, better than one. Let's start taking some some chests. Let's try and avoid that poisonous vile flamethrower for no reason. Just burn this thing. Fire upgrade, 30% chance to get more gems from destructibles. You know what? Why not? Gems from destructibles, great. There's a couple of items I really want to get. I want the teddy bear. I've, I've come to appreciate just how stupidly powerful the teddy bear really is if you can start leveling it up a lot. I've also learned that using my hypercore now is not a bad idea to blow these guys up and get a bit of life back. Bam, look at that. But I've also learned that besides that, the, the chest that gives you life back for chips works on boss fights. Very, very good. Each burn increases its damage. Uh, I might boost the flamethrower in the in the vain hope that I might get an upgrade on it and make it into a frost weapon instead. But yes, I, I want the chest that gives me a chip heal. I want the, the teddy bear. And I also want Max's services here because he's offering beans with more dashes, reduced damage taken, and a boost to max life. Thank you. I don't care about the risk level right now. Sorry, the assault level. I keep calling it all sorts of different things. It's like... Risk of rain, blade assault. I mean, it's the danger level. I'm, I'm not too worried about the danger level right now. Although, I do want to try and remember that before I get to the very end of this run, I'm going to try... Reduce subweapons cost, electric cost. Yeah, we'll get more gems. Anything to try and boost our income. I want to try and reduce the assault level down from 12 and see if it makes the Panis fight more manageable because, I mean... You guys saw it yourselves. Panis was kinda nuts. I figured that we'd have a go at trying to beat the final boss on maximum normal level difficulty, like level 12 for the assault level. And yeah, it went it went gloriously well. Did you see? It went so well. Okay, the explosion after I came out from my freeze. Aggressively rude. I, I will say aggressively rude. Give me this, give me a good upgrade. Give me something amazing. Freezing burst, I need freezing burst. Increases crit damage against enemies that are frozen. There's also the one that increases crit chance, I believe. Once you get these, you can try and... I think they unlock the option for getting the execute upgrade that gives you a chance to insta-kill enemies. Give me an item. Give me something good. Increase skill attack. No. Grants a poison damage reduction, but immunity to shock. I realize that Panis does lightning of effects. He does frost and fire effects. So if I can make myself immune or increase my defense to these effects... That's, that's all good, dude. That's, that's A-OK -okay with me. A-OK -okay with me. Now, I know that the damage we're doing right now is not as good as the Sonic run from before. There's the chest. It gives me some life back when I get chips. I'll take one of those. Just one is enough. Ten life per chip should be fine. Uh, here, do this. <laughs> I realize that my damage isn't as good as the Sonic run, but it doesn't have to be right now. All it has to be is a good start, and we will build from here and make ourselves even more powerful. No. I'm sorry, Frogman. Damn, we are we are moving, though. Popping that ampoule for extra attack speed. The dash? Yeah, what if I do this? Can I trigger those early? I can. And I can also burn your big man over here. Burn. <gasps> he got out of the way. He got out of the way. You can't get out of the way. That's illegal. You're you are obligated to sit in the way of my stun grenades. No, thank you. Flamethrower. You are obligated to sit in harm's way. Get hit and ow. Not me. You. Get hit and die. Look at this attack speed though. I've taken the passive option on the katana that she gets an attack speed buff after she does a dash. As well as having the ampoule. I think it's like a 60% attack speed boost after she does any dash. Boosting health and MP. Increase max life by 35. I mean, I may as well just boost both of them. I'm not looking to get a big heal just yet. Now, uh, let's talk to the lady. I need electric vengeance and I can get what? Oh. Oh, I see. I've got my... Oh, they're trying to change my, my electrical fire options. I see. No, cryo weapon. Boost the cryo damage by 20%. Thank you. We're leaving. And I think with 245 roses, I can buff up my my dash upgrade as well, can't I? The Gust of Shadows? Yes. Damage increased by 200% and cooldown decreased by one second. Sounds good. 
Weapon hilt also sounds amazing. I might buy a bunch of those. I could take freezing burst. I could boost this. The damage on this isn't really what I'm after. It's just kind of like the invulnerability effect plus a little bit of healing done. This doesn't change the healing. However, increasing the crit damage by 15%. Pretty good, pretty good. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to buy three weapon hilts. I know it's probably like a dumb idea, but I really want to make my basic and dash damage really, really, really good. So I'm looking for katana blades. I'm looking for weapon hilts. I'm looking for all those good things to make this very competitive and powerful. And I want to try and save up at least a few gems to use. Ooh. Allows attacks to pierce enemies with shields. Why not? The other options there are to do with skills, and I'm not using skills right now. Increase ice core damage. Thank you. I will. I will take it. Not too bad so far. Not too bad so far in terms of what we've been getting. The options are good. The options are good. Freeze. I need a dash build for though. I need to get like a frost dash to give to Darcy so that whenever she dashes, there's one that creates, I think it's like an ice explosion. There's the one that drops little icicle shards behind her. And then there's one that just straight up explodes behind her whenever she dashes with ice. I think I want that one. I want the explosion of ice. But I mean, I, I can't be too picky or choosy, I guess, in terms of what I get, even though I really would like to be picky and choosy about it. Because I really... Wow, that... that Not only did that hit me, but it also spawned in other dudes. You ever get hit so hard, an entire new wave of enemies rocks up to take advantage of it? Can I go into my, my frozen state real quick? Bam! Get frozen. Get some life back. Bully this guy. More damage, please. More damage, please. Frozen core. Give me that damage. Give me what I want. Freezing burst upgrade, frost armor upgrade, or... Frost Storm. No, no, no. Reduce damage taken from enemies. I mean, I should re-roll this. I'm gonna re-roll this. I'm looking for something else. Looking for something very specific. Frost Shield is there. That's not bad. Frost Vulnerability. There's the Ice Shard. I'm gonna take one of these. I think reducing enemies' movement attack when they're frozen or, or iced over with some chill is, is just nice to have. I'm looking to get a diverse pool of things. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of different ice upgrades so that I can find better things as time goes on. 20% chance to reduce damage taken by 20%. Not bad. More defensive items. Just anything to survive the Pandas Onslaught. His stupid damage once we get to the end. Ow, that poison vial was on point. This man should be a pitcher for the Mets. Get, get, stop it, stop it, stop it, die. Uh, toy hammer. I'll take the heater club, why not? I can see the heater club playing a role in the Pandas fight later on. Yes, if you hear me talking about the Panas fight, my whole intention is to beat the Panas fight with this. Because that's the only fight that I haven't beaten yet, is Panas. All the other ones, I have at least some confidence that I'll be okay on this run without without uh, my, my Sonic Spin Dash. However, Panas... Big Panus is the problem. Yeah, stand up here. Go on, stand up here. Get frozen, get frozen. Idiots, idiots. Get burned, get burned while you're at it. Get burned. Morons, morons. Absolute fools. Absolute morons. Look at them. Look at this frog get obliterated. Get obliterated. Give me this ice core upgrade. What do we got here? Freezing burst. Again. More frost armor. I'll take the frost armor. Fine. 5% less damage taken. Is it godlike? No. Is it what I have to take? I guess. I guess. Now, what are you offering me, Max? I see the solar panel up there. I'm not really keen on that. No, not just yet. I don't want any of that right now. What are you offering me, dude? Increase dash attack at the cost of Max... MP going down by 84. That prevents me from using my Hypercore, but that's a lot of dash attack. Fine, I'll take this for now and we will endeavor to boost our MP back up from some MP room so I can actually use my Hypercore again. Aha! The red blindfold. Exactly what I was hoping to find. Permanently increase dash by one, increase attack of normal and attack speed by 15%. Pretty damn good. I want this and I want the skull box or the, the butcher's cleaver. There we go, skull box, that's what I want. Increase all attack by 30%, but I receive 30% more damage. Now, I understand what you're saying, but Bales, Panis is gonna do 30% more damage. And yes, while that is true, I will also deal more damage because I don't think the way to go on that fight is to try and be, I mean, being careful, obviously, but at the same time, I think the longer I'm in that fight, the more odds that there are of, no, I want this. I'm not, I don't care about skill cooldowns. I'm not gonna be using my skill very much. The higher the odds are that he hits me and kills me, right? I'll take some cheese. 
Shout out to the cheese eaters out there. Um, so I want to try and... Damn it, dude. I want to try and get in there and out of there as soon as possible and not linger too long so that he doesn't have all this, this extra potential damage coming my way. Which would just suck, to be honest, if he, if he managed to bully me. Thanks to all these effects. Stop it. Oh, I walked into it. No, get out of it. Ow, I landed. Wow. You see that, that teamwork right there? You see the teamwork these dudes just, just put off? I tried to jump and evade the... Please die. Thank you. I jumped to evade the two explosions and that rat preemptively had thrown... Actually, let's do some manipulation here. Had preemptively thrown a poison vial that bopped me in the snoot. I want more roses. I'll go down to about 2,000. We'll do that. 661 roses right now. Should be fine. It should be fine. Fire core. Give me this fire core. Fire blast creates a second explosion after one second that deals damage. I don't know if I'm going to really be doing that. But I mean, chain explosion is still a cool thing to get, but I don't really think I'm going to be worried too much about fire explosions because I'm trying and hoping that when I find the upgrade lady that I can maybe change the flamethrower into a frost effect. Maybe. Hopefully. That's my dream. My dream is to one day grow up to have a frost thrower instead of a flame thrower. A cryo waffen, if you would, if you would. A, a cryo waffle, even. 3% more crit rate of all of our attacks. I'm okay with that. I am looking for a heart upgrade room too. I will unironically take a life upgrade room just so I can get some increased MP and get my my hypercore back to being usable since I'm too low on MP. I quite literally can't use it. Main weapon attacks crit rate goes up. Pretty good, pretty good. Get some of that cheese. There we go. Get some get some attack speed going in there. Pop that M pool. No. Flamethrower, go. Flamethrower! Yeah, dude! Die. Ah. We have a heart option right there, but I'm not gonna take that over a cryo. Oh, I keep trying to give me freezing burst, but cryo weapon, normal attack up. Good, thank you. I will take this. Another fire room. They are giving me all fire rooms along with my, my cryos. I'm glad I'm getting cryos, but there's a lot of fire happening too. What do we have here? Fresh beans. Damage taken reduced. All damage done increased. Crit damage increased. Doesn't matter. I, I see I see Max's options there. I see any of these, these things that are like, oh, be careful. It'll increase your assault level. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Because the main issue here is not the assault level. The main issue is getting past Panis. And by that point, then I will worry about lowering it. Aha! The bandage. Bandage isn't bad, but I can't really use this now. I will take a weapon hilt. Maybe a bandage against Panis would be kind of nice. I do like that they give you a healing station here as an option. It's like, are you a little bit wounded before the boss fight? Would you, would you like to risk some assault boost to get some life back before your boss fight? Are you feeling confident against your boss fight? Yeah, I'm feeling alright against my boss fight. I shouldn't need to worry about it. Mostly because I'm getting pizza, thankfully. Burn, Froggy! Freeze, Froggy! Die, Froggy. Speaking of burn, fire core, flower blitz! No, and also not flame path. Wait! Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I take flame path, core upgrade needle ice. So wait, wouldn't that mean it creates a, a path? A path of ice? I will take this! I will take this now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Throw the needle ice backwards from the dash, from the point of dash startup. Damage enemies are frozen. I need to try that, dude. Increase crit rate by 30% and cause a frost explosion when damaging enemies, but also needle ice. Wait, I could do double upgrades and go straight to cryo upgrade. Ah, uh, no, give me the ice dash. Give me the ice dash. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Thank you for that. That is nice. Here I wanted the ice explosion. I mean, the ice explosion is still good. Don't get me wrong. But this is nice too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow. I didn't, I didn't jump. I meant to jump. Oh, yeah. Look at the damage, dude. Look at the damage. Look at the bullying. Flamethrower! Oh, I can't jump fast enough to get out of the way of that. Flamethrower! And he's dead. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize he was going down that fast. Welcome to die. Get a little bit of life back, thanks to all the ships he gives us. That's nice. That's very nice. We're not as injured as we were when we started. That's very nice. 
If I get a mandatory choice between picking up the box, I might get another box upgrade. That's pretty good. I'm going to upgrade the Gust of Shadows. Very nice. Very good. I'm going to get myself a Cryo upgrade. Cold Cauterization Freezing Burst. Now, it seems as though in this area, normally on the ship, you only upgrade uh, core options that you've already unlocked. It's just to level them up. But if you restock here, oh, you can find brand new ones, like getting the Frostbite that increases damage against enemies affected by chill by 30%. There's also the Ice Shard Dash upgrade, but who cares? We've got Legendary Core upgrade here. Yes. Yes. And I don't want anything else. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Keep my gems. Keep my jemmy gem gems so that when I get to Honky Hank Honk in the next shop, I can get... Oh. Increases damage dealt through dot effects by 50%. Bleed, poison, and burn. I'm not really using any of that, even though this is a really nice item i'm not really using i mean the only thing that's bleeding is the razor and that's not strong enough not really suitable for me skill attack by 10 i'm also not using skill you know what i'll take it anyway i don't care it looks pretty I'm, I'm actually not using any of those effects but i mean hell if i if i get a little bit more damage on a bleed effect ugh, whatever it can't be the worst option in the world right uh the golden champion's belt increase all healing effects i would love to get some extra healing effects to try and make myself a little bit more sustainy with the lifeies. Maybe I'll get a syringe injection item thing. I forget what it's called, but it's it's a syringe that, that boosts healing or that heals me. It's got a chance to heal when I do damage, I think. Burn a little bit. Don't poison me, please. Poison sucks in this game. I don't want to deal with it. Enemies. Oh, hello, little dude. Do me a favor and die. I don't want you up here. I need the life upgrades. I need... I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I need to get MP. Boost max MP by 50. Beautiful. Okay. That's all I... Damn it, dude. And then I've got... I did it. If I... Oh. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll take the fire room. We'll take the fire room. We'll just pretend that this is okay and not annoying. Because I could have had cryo and not just wasted that potential cryo right there. Um, don't hurt me. I am speed. I am attacking very fast. I am I am all of the quick. Open this. No, don't. Don't do it. No, I just I just wish to open. Activate my my deep freeze explosion. Boom! There we go. Everything's frozen. Now what have I got here? Telescope, we've got increased attack speed by 5%. I'll take it, dude. Give me the cotton gloves. Give me the cheese. Ooh. Grants permanent immunity from being chilled. There we go means another thing that Panis does that he can't do to me if I make a mistake and get hit by his freezing effect. So I'm now immune to shock and freeze. I just need the thing that helps me with burn damage and we'll be a-okay. We'll be a-okay. Well, not fine, but you know. Increased damage dealt to enemies, just 7% more damage. Why not? We won't be fine fine, but we'll be fine. You know what I mean? We won't be fine fine. We'll just be fine. Max, please. Birthday chocolate cake? Evasion, damage reduction, and another dash for the dash build. I'll take it. I really should just go all in on these ice picks, by the way. But 300 for a 20% boost, not bad. 300 for another, what is it, 5% or 10%? How much does it go up to? Yeah, it's like, it's like 10%. No, no. I will save some cash for now. Max MP at the cost of normal attacks. Nope, you're an ass. Honk! I call honk. I'm done with Sophia. I got the skull box. I got the bandana. The only thing left down there is that butcher's knife. The Butcher Cleaver, but I don't care about that right now. Yes, here we go. Red Sugar Shards. Recover five life when dodging an attack. That's going to be really good with a dash build because we're just dashing so much. Decreased damage received from burns. I like it. A chance to get more gems when hitting enemies. I like it. I like all of these options. Thank you. Thank you very much. Decreased damage received from poison. More dodge chance. The helmet that decreases damage taken from melee attacks. Very good for Panis. Very good for Panis. I'm, I'm taking it anyway. I don't care. Give me, the, give me the poison damage reduction because poison enemies do get me. There are poison guys running around and they are very strong and they are very annoying. They are plentiful and they are awful. Ah, oh, the dashing though. Look, and I took a few, a few dash boosts, a few extra dashes for this to become really, really, really fun and really, really broken. Well, broken in the sense that you can do some good damage. Not broken as in, you know, it's the best build in the world, but it's, it's pretty nice. I like Darcy dash builds. Darcy dash builds are pretty nice. Uh, open this. Give me something like... Uh, no. I'll take one toy. Ow! Alright, dude. Alright, alright, alright. I was just trying to see what my options were. 
But I see some of us here don't like to be patient and allow people to actually look at their options. Got a bunch of hurrying, rushy dudes over here who don't want to... Ow, I, I didn't even notice, to be honest. I wasn't looking at that. Who don't want to be patient and just stop and, you know, take in the scenery for a minute. Fine, be that way. Frostbite upgrade is nice, but I need to get more new things. Although, just another 10% damage isn't the worst in the world. I'm going to restock. Aha! There it is! Execute! You gain a chance to instantly kill a frozen enemy, excluding bosses 3%. Now, 3% may not sound like a lot, but it's still pretty nice. I can't afford to boost my Gust. I can take another Cryo Room, though. Yay! God, I hope I kill Panis this time. I don't want Darcy's run to be a failure. Please don't make Darcy's run a failure. I just need the good upgrades. I need, I've got good stuff already, dude. I've got some nice upgrades. You know, it's not bad. Not bad right now. I just need that little bit of extra oomph. I need that little extra something to take a good run and make it a great run. Open this up and we get Heated Club. Yeah, I'll get the Heated Club. I like the Heated Club. I don't want to have to rely on the Heated Club now, but I'll take the Heated Club. Kill you, little dude. Die. It's a lot of moving, right? It's a lot of... Oh, look. Poison, dude. Can I flamethrower through the wall? Damn right I can. Look at him dying. Burn! Have more! Just die already. My god. That burn. Please. Execute upgrade. Frost arrow! Frost arrow is great. Passive damage. Yes! I'm gonna get more gems. <laughs> because I'm concerned. Wait, no. I need more roses, actually. Hang on. More gems translates to more roses. Just get me like 650 of these. Then we'll buy a whole bunch more gems. There we go. The currency exchange. I'm, I need to make sure this, this run is powerful, dude. I need to make sure this run is nice. Pop the ampoule. Big burst damage down here. All the attack speed in the world. Yes. Open this. What do we get? What do we get? Grants immunity to knockbacks. When life is low, MP is not consumed. Don't really care about that. Poison damage reduction again, though? Why not? Let's make it even better. I wonder if you can, like, what's the height that you can get for damage reduction for effects like that? Like, can you actually make it zero? Like, like 100% or get to 90% with damage reduction before it starts to, like, drop off? What does it scale to? That'd be pretty funny if you could just invalidate an entire type of damage by just putting a lot into it. Subweapon crit increase? No, 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 no. I'll take this. You know what? I'll even take this. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Just, just, oh, Charlotte. I didn't realize we were already here. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Shoutouts to, to Wilbur and Charlotte's web. Nice. I can pop my ampoule. Why is she sliding along the ground? Hello? Face dragging much? I, I realize it's, it, it's, it's, it's like... Not the end of the week yet, but you don't have to drag that much, my god. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, don't go through there. Flamethrower! It didn't reach. I was trying so hard to have flamethrower reach just then. Yo, yo, yo. Ah, oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Wow, she did. That was actually kind of impressive. I'm actually really surprised at how well that went. Increase max life and MP. Why not? Talk to the bay over here. Increase cryo core damage. Yes, yes, yes. Transforms the sub weapon into the frost shot that recharges one shot every second. Enemies hit are chilled. Hmm. Requires burning bullet blaster. I'm looking at that because it's a frost option, but I don't have the burning bullet blaster. I have a flamethrower. If you tell me there's no flamethrower upgrade to become frost, I will be sad, okay? I will genuinely be a little bit heartbroken, a little bit sad, and I I will I won't cry, but I'll make you I'll make you feel bad about it. Um I could restock again and go for more, or I could just boost this, or I could boost this. Uh, I'm gonna restock and go for ah, the frozen spear. Which I realize can become lightning rod. We had that last time, didn't we? But this is a good upgrade. Then again, so is Frostwall. For every cryo core you have, the amount of damage taken from enemies is reduced. I might get this now. Uh, all of these are kind of good. I want the frozen spear first, actually. The spear is just good damage. Good value. It's fun. Let the spear launch. Let the spear do big damage. But I do want those other ones as well. I do want that based on... Ah, finally, a katana blade. Thank you. 
the, the dash build is actually getting some dash damage bonuses, because it hasn't really... Besides my, my Gust Blade, my Shadow Gusty Blade thing, it hasn't really been getting stronger dash functionality. But I mean, everything else is pretty good. Here, let me... Let me, let me just, like, actually charge up my basic attack for the first time in this entire run. Uh, sir... You are, you are mad rude. Wow, that room's done already. Cold cauterization upgrade, frozen spear. I'm gonna use my last restock and try and find... Aha! Frostbrand! Enemies under the effect of freeze will have an increased chance to be hit by a crit. Frostbrand is the one I was looking for before. I'll take a coin room, please, to restock some of these coins that I'm burning my way through in all these exchanges. Ah, there it is! The injection! 2% chance to recover life when attacking. So that gets the 30% healing boost, does it? Based on my champion's belt, I think. Wow, okay, the damage is starting to pop off. Damage is starting to pop off a little bit. We are we are murdering people. Uh, let's see, we could get some movement speed, we could get some safe, or we could get more life recovery. Oh, wait, so this is, oh, it's going up already. That's why it's level two as a base or going from one to three. This is my passive that gives me a chance to get an extra level. Oh, there you go, treasure chest then, that's, that's done. I only wanted level 2, but I mean, getting level 3 for the price of 2, that's pretty good. Fire off a little bit of damage right there. Jump up here. God, it's nice. I love seeing screens just explode with damage. Any of you guys playing uh, the good old Dynasty Warriors style games, Dynasty Warriors and and, and things like that, my, it's it's... There's something cathartic about it, right? Like, people... The formula is there for a reason. There's just something really, really satisfying about seeing a whole room of enemies just melt and blow up and die. It's... Ugh. This game has that effect. This game has that effect. You get a strong build going, you get a whole bunch of enemies spawn all across the room, it's like, oh yeah, dude. Look at this big man right here. He's dead. Look at these, these nurse people here. They're, they're gone. Did you even get a chance to see them? No, not really. That's okay. They barely had a chance to exist. Die. Look at that. Dead. Dead. Finito. Finish. I can see a chest up there. Little 50 cross chest. Don't mind if I do. Hang on, let me get this first. And activate. Dash. I am unstoppable. Die. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. 30% chance to acquire four more gems when destroying destructible objects. Why not? Give me the gem power. I don't need any more heated rod right now. So, ooh, frost shield is pretty nice. The frost wall for each cryo core you have. Damage taken reduced by 0.9% versus gain a shield. Gain a frost shield absorbs damage and freeze attack is generated every 60 seconds. It's worth 4% of my max life. I'm going to take frost wall first. I think raw damage negation, like raw damage uh, uh, prevention is better than a shield that spawns every minute. But, that being said, they're both still pretty good and I want both. We've got a lot of gems to spend, so I think getting 20% crit damage, getting an increased all damage done and reduced damage taken is still worthwhile here. Do I have any of this? I've got one of them. I, I really should just go all in on the ice picks in the vending machine, but... Nah. MP at the cost of skill attack. Well, I mean, I'm not really- I'm not using my skills at all. Literally not at all, so I should just take this for the extra MP. Why not? I'm not using it. Skill attack is my triangle button, by the way, if you're worried. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the other moves on my on my bar. When life is below 20%, damage reduced by 30%. I'll take it. An upgrade to my mask, the rogue mask. Shoutouts to WoW, the Defias Bandits. Um, that's not really worth it. I don't care about that last one either. Give me something really nice. A 2% chance to get 3 life back. A boost to the Hyranol. Do I really? You know what? I'm going to get both. I know it's dumb to get like 1% and 2% increases, but there you go, 40%. Reduce damage taken. Increase skill attack. I'm not really after skill attack. Reroll it again, big man. Grants immunity to knockbacks. Why not? Hyronol. Why not? I'll leave now. It's it's getting a bit costly to keep resetting. If I save this, I can just spend more later. The, uh, the chest. We've got the dart. I'll take the... You know what? I don't have any combat scout. I'm mount... Wait, that's skill attack. No, no, no. I realize now it's skill attack. That's why I don't have it, because it's it's the one thing I'm not pressing. Kill these dudes. Oh, look at big Mr. Healer guy over there trying to heal his friends. What's that? Your friends are all dead. You couldn't heal them in time. Feels bad, my guy. Feels really bad. Open this up. Give me... 40% chance to reduce damage down to 20%. Yeah. 
Yeah, the higher I can get that. If I can get a vending machine for some of these. I haven't found any teddy bears, though. I'm kind of sad. I really want to get some teds. Teddy bears are where it's at. Yo, look at these. Look at the these dudes are tanky right now. Okay, tanky big men's. Tanky big men's. More max life, please. Recover, max MP. It covers and gives a little boosty boost to max life. I'll take it. A rose's room. Finally, I haven't found any rose's room so far. I need to finish upgrading my weapon and my, my, my gale dust shadow thing. Both of them. Ah, oh, cheese and attack speed. I'll take the attack speed. I'm looking for katana blades. My dashes aren't dummy enough. Believe it or not, my dashes could become more dum dum. Kill this guy. Stop it. You're healing people. You're healing people and it's frustrating and annoying. Stop it. Have a heart. Have a heart. Stop healing people. It's not fair. It's not fair. I've got five dashes. I've got a lot of dash power going. Razor? I could boost more razor goodness. 10 max life. I'll take the 10 max life. I've, I've said it before, but the scaling of some of the items is that they, they, they you get less reward after the first time you buy an item. The most reward you get from an item is on like literally level one. So just getting one in, in most items to me is pretty good. If As long as the effect isn't outright useless to you. It seems pretty worthwhile, you know? He's going to revive! No, he didn't. He's going to die. That was weird. Uh, a frost wall upgrade wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Frost vulnerability is literally just a 5% um, reduction to attack. But frost wall is actually more defense for me. That's, that's not bad. I don't mind that. We'll take the life room. Give me more max life, please, because my max HP is not big enough yet. It's actually quite small compared to how it would normally be in most other runs. Grants immunity to energy burn versus normal attack being boosted. Give me more damage. Give me more damage. Energy burn is actually not what I'm worried about too much because I'm not really using my energy for much. I mean, I know I have access to my, my, my hypercore, but my hypercore doesn't do a lot of damage. It's mostly just there as utility to immune myself through big nasty attacks I don't want to have to deal with. And to get a tiny bit of life back. Aha, the board. I've now got a 50% chance that my damage is reduced by 20% when I get hit. Yeah, let's see what the hypercore is doing damage-wise. Yeah. <laughs> you see the damage it did to the big guy? It did not do much. It's it's utility. It's it's utility. I'm aware. I'm okay with it being utility. Uh, as long as I can use it, that's fine. Uh, it's got a pretty chunky cooldown on it, though. I will admit that. It's 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 not cheap on the cooldowns. It's it's pretty costly. All right, max life, please. Big max life, the biggest. Increase max HP by 50. Thank you. And now, uh, madam, flame spear and lightning rod. No, I don't want any of those. Increase crit damage dealt to enemies that are immune to freeze. And because this is basically free, why not? And I've already broken those. Up to Plantos. Only 40 minutes in. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Not, not a super, super slow run, funny enough. I was worried that because I wasn't doing something dumb, like big spinning top run, this would be a a long one. But I guess in the first one I was doing a lot of explaining and a lot of investigating and figuring things out. So that that's fair. No, don't hit me. Also, don't do your vine attacks. I just told you not to. What was that about? I'm gonna kill all these dudes. You gotta do some slaying. Oh, get out of that. Ow, that somehow still hit me. He's taking damage though, damn. He has taken some noops. No. Especially no to these things. These plants up here that are gonna heal the boss for a lot of life back if I don't end them soon. Oh, that was close. Ow, I, I dashed through that and still got hit. Here you go. Activate my core. I'm gonna heal a little bit, and we're gonna pop him. Ah, oh, my dash. The invincibility frames of the dash is, is good and bad at the same time. Yeah, just keep dashing through you, dude. Think I care? I'm a dash fiend. I will dash forever. There we go. Boom. Die. Pretty fast, actually. Not bad at all. The healing thanks to the, the, the chips. Very nice, very nice. I like it, dude. I like it. 
Now, can I get my upgrades in Gust of Shadows? I can't finish it. Hmm, I can't finish it. When the aura is fully charged, normal attacks launch a projectile. The projectile deals 50% normal attack. Do I have the option of doing Blade Aura at any point? Do I have the option of using Blade Aura? Projectiles temporarily decrease enemies' attack and movement speed by 20%. That's kind of nice. Knocking enemies back. I'm thinking about the Panis fight. I could run away and activate Blade Aura when I've got moments in between and use Blade Aura there. 50% of normal attack is not bad. Even just as a level 1 upgrade, it's not bad. I might, I might do both in Blade Aura, which is this effect here, so now it's activated. Well, it should be. It's not right now, but it should be, right? Um, let's take the Cryo Core right now. I could get a 1.5% a upgrade to this. The Needle Ice could get more damage done with it. I'll take the Needle Ice. Dashing is my main focus right now, so if I can dash more, you know, that's good. We go through, we're going to get rid of Electra first. I can fight Electra on, on level 12. It's after Electra. Can I reduce it after Electra? I think I can, right? There's another room after Electra for me to, to talk to the... Reduces skill cooldowns by 40%. You're funny. But here's the immunity to being frozen. Yay! I thought I already had this. Or did I reduce the damage taken based on... Or, or dur duration? What did I reduce? I, I swear I've already got this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. A boost to my ice damage. Uh, I see that was uh, upgraded twice for the price of one. Thank you very much, game. For being super chill and cool. Flamethrower. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, cool. Uh, die. No. Don't be rude. Flamethrower. Don't be rude. Die. <laughs> Flamethrower. <laughs> no, ah, it's shooting me. Don't. I'm trying really hard to not get stuck in a bad spot because these guys hurt. When they hit you, they do damage. Max life goes up. If I could get to like six to 700, maybe 700. Can I be super greedy and just get 700 max life, please? That'd be great. I know I didn't take the Sophia reward that gives me more max life as well, so that's part of why I'm not getting as much as I would normally before. The one that gives me more max life based on the elites I kill, I think. I'll take the fire upgrade. Why not? The flamethrower is proving to be rather useless right now because I thought I could get it upgraded into an ice weapon, but apparently not. Teddy bear! Thank you! There's a 5% chance that the damage I receive is reduced to just one damage. Yes, it is that good. Yes, it is amazing. It's one of the best defensive items in the game. If you can stack it, you get a vending machine that offers you teddy bears. Spend it all. I would spend it all in a heartbeat, dude. It's, I, I would I would argue that it's more worthwhile doing that than some legendary items, at least to me. To me, from my perspective, the teddy bears, oh, so good. It's like in Risk of Rain too, how the teddy bears just absorb damage. And it's it's honestly really worth your while to find a um, a printer for teddy bears and just max out the efficacy of your teddy bears immediately. Uh, reduce damage from burns, yes please. Burn damage in the Panis fight is actually really relevant and really, really aggressively annoying from what I've seen. Upgrade to my dash damage. I could have taken that or the cryo. I'd rather get the dash boost for now. Oh, this is the ninjas, right. Especially you guys. The shooty McTootie dudes. Forget you guys. Forget you guys. No, ah, 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 ah. Be, be nice, be nice, be nice, be generous, be nice. Ha ha. Take this. Yeah, that's it. Barker, die. <laughs> no, there's more. Why are there so many of you? This room is full of enemies. Stop it. Stop it. No. Ooh. See him try me? Ooh, he's, 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 ooh, get frozen. Get frozen. Stop that. God damn. More max health. Can I see the butterfly? Magic butterfly. Max life goes up. Bam. 635. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Now, what are you offering me? Nothing that becomes frost, fire bomb, flame spear, lightning rod. No. I'll take more roses, though. That way, when I go and see Hanky Boy, I can get more upgrades to my... I haven't been using my aura. There we go. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Don't worry. I, I graduated from the school of stupidity, that's for sure. How long does that aura last? It lasts a good while, actually. I mean, if you could activate that while enemies are spawning in, pretty good. Now, aren't the enemies behind me? No, there they are. Thought so. Yeah, that's not bad. I actually don't mind that one little bit. Refresh the aura real quick. Slay this dude. Slay uh, Big Fisty McPunch guy, who 
I've just realized the, the neon giant fist punchy McPunch dude is probably a reference to Jet, the last character that's not available just yet. Because he seems to have the same gloves. Like I've said, a, a lot of the visual storytelling in this game is pretty damn cool. You can actually see where all these things are from. Like, like there are machines that have the chainsaws that kill users, the giant axes, the, the guns. All the ninja stuff that Akali seems to have reference to, the katana wielding dudes. It's pretty goddamn cool. Like, everyone has, like, some sort of connection. Visually speaking, like, you don't even have to go into, like, deep lore to see where all of this is from. It's, it's pretty cool. No, don't shoot. Just die. Activate my blade aura. Are there more dudes back this way? Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? And we can activate this. Boom, boom, boom. Die, sirs. Sirs and or madams. God, it's so visceral. So, so much damage, such impact. Such brutality, dude. It's brutal. Look, he's frozen, he can't do anything. It's brutal. Uh, activate this. Of course. Of course you're going to be critically annoying to me. Give me this. What do we have here? The chain explosion, the flamethrower increase, burn, damage. Ugh. Each burn increases its duration. Whatever, give me the intensify burn. I don't care. I'm, I'm actually just after cryo upgrades now. Or I replace the flamethrower with something else because I just, I don't seem like I'm going to be getting anything better. I'm going to save for Gust of Shadows. I need that last Gust of Shadows upgrade. Projectiles knocking enemies back. Excluding bosses is useless to me. I don't care. But let's save up and get some more roses. Frost Spear upgrade. The Frost Bite upgrade. Uh, the wall. For each cryo core you have. Damage taken, reduced. I'm actually pretty keen just to get more wall and wall it up. 10% more damage to enemies affected by chill is nice, but... Can I see? Can I actually see my... my? I don't think I can. There we go. How many cryos do I even have? Look at, look at all this stuff, by the way. This is crazy. I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? 12 cryos? It's pretty good damage reduction. It's actually not bad damage reduction if I do say so myself. I'm going to take some attack speed boosts too. Just a few. Just a few. Can I get to 20%? Thank you. 20% attack speed boost on top of my, my, my use item, on top of my dash boost. What's that? Uh, not 80? 90? 80 or 90% more attack speed after I do a dash when I have my, my item activated. Pretty good. Ah, laser bros. I'm a laser bro. I'm a blow up. Yeah, that's it. Get some. Get some. Open this. What do we got in here? The chests? Nah. Uh, I guess reduce sub-weapon cost because it's level 1. Aha! Increase the attack of all main weapons by 30%, but then again we have dash increase. Right after dashing, attack is boosted, but you know what's better? Just 30% raw. 30% raw damage boost, please. That is a poisonous tank. Please don't poison me, Mr. Tank. I don't want to be poisoned. Ow, it's poisoning me. I'm going to invalidate that poison for a hot minute by doing this. There we go. Cryo upgrade, please. Freezing burst armor. Mm. Increase crit damage against enemies affected by a freeze. Now, I already have a weapon increase that increases my crit damage against enemies immune to freeze. I don't think this scales with it though, right? Ugh, versus 2% damage reduction. 2%? I'll take the burst. Just kill other enemies faster. 2% is not enough. 2% is very small. You gotta invest hard in that to get bigger returns. You gotta invest super hard. Let me upgrade this real quick. Get my aura activated. Ah, oh, that's right. The aura only shoots when you're on the ground. Aura don't shoot if you're in the air. Rude. Yeah, activate this. Give me some life back. Explode. Boom. Blow up. Open chest. What do we have in here? Ice pick. Ice pick is pretty sick. I'll go with the ice pick. Activate this. Turn my aura on. Aura, aura, aura. Destroy this little floating nuisance up here. Lots of explosions. Lots of annoying effects. Yo, freezing and CCing those dudes stops their beam from coming out. I mean, I know it sounds obvious, but that's actually really nice to know. Frost armor, normal weapon boost. Uh, give me the normal weapon boost. Fine, 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 fine. I don't like that my life is still rather low to my to my liking. I'd like to be like higher. <laughs> I say that and the champion belt shows up. No, 
That's not the way that I want to fix it. Yo, Gambus Braid! Increase all damage done, increase evasion, and more dash. I'll take it. I'll take it. What are you offering over here? Something good? Skill attack upgrade? You suck. You suck. Call Honk. Call Honk. You suck, dude. You suck. Way to ruin my, my day. You could have given me a dash increase. You could have given me more life. But no. I've got a lot of MP. I was willing to give out some MP for you, but no. Dash increase attack by 20%. Damage from burns reduced, thank you. Decreased damage received from projectiles. He doesn't really shoot bullets. Panis doesn't really do bullets. Uh, Electra does less, like, projectile attacks. 5% chance to deal 5% of the enemy's current HP as bonus damage on hit when using normal attacks and skill attacks. Don't think there are any demon lords in Undercity. Haha, <laughs> that's what you think. Uh, poison damage reduction, why not? No one really poisons, but just, just in case. Uh, Hyrenol, pretty good. Roll out again. Uh, poison damage reduction. Grants immunity to energy burn. Did I not already take this? I swear I've already got a canteen. What? What? I don't need energy anyway. That's, that's, I don't even care. Take, give me this. More healing. Restock. Probably the last restock before I leave. Uh, boxing gloves. Yes, please. And I do not need this. Skill attacks and MP consumption reduction are a no- wait. Although, no, I'm not using my MP on anything. I was going to say, for my Hypercore, but I've got 230 max MP to worry about my Hypercore. I don't have to worry about it now. I'm going to have enough. Aha! The Trinity! This is amazing. Wasn't sure what you like, so take them all! More attack speed, more normal attack, and more skill attack. At least two of those things are good for me. Activate this. And then we slay! That's a lot of explosions, dude. Can I, can I even hit you? There we go. I just, I just want to get you to stop you from doing that annoying effect up there, son. Nice. Oh, wait. I see food. I see food. I see some cheese. Give me the cheese. I'm all about that cheese. Scouter. No. No. Subweapon attack. Whatever, dude. Just in, in the off chance that I actually shoot my flamethrower. Wonderful. I'm, I'm ready in the off chance that I actually decide to shoot this thing. Because it's so, it's so useful to me right now. Okay, that guy's immune to CCs. Pretty annoying. Aggressively annoying, even. Yeah, let's activate this now. While you're doing your attack. Immune to CC. I get it. I get it. I get it. You have immunity. The council has spoken. Get some. Get some. Die. That's all I need you to do is to give... You can't get past the barricade, dude. What kind of tank are you if you can't even get past the barricade? God. Flamethrower upgrade. Oh, man. Yeah, boost the flamethrower. Why not? Just just do it. And now, what do we have here? Anything worthwhile? No. I'm sorry, lady, but your services aren't needed right now. There's nothing you can do to help me. Oh, that's right. Big Robro. Can you believe I forgot Big Robro exists? I actually forgot you were here, big man. I'm so sorry. That's really rude of me. Is that punch landing, by the way? I think that punch was hitting me. Yo, he is taking some damage, though. Okay, why aren't your... Why are you not susceptible to damage? It comes... Has he got the bubble on him? Is that, like, his way of showing off the bubble effect? Yeah, I'm getting hit, though. Maybe I should activate this now. Yeah. Oh, okay. rude. Did you see that? Wait, can I just hide underneath the fist and not get hit? Dude. That was super rude, the way that that, that cryo core worked. Did you see it? I was like, I was in my freeze, and as I came out, the stupid buzzsaw was there. Oh, the ground shakes. I didn't even notice the rubble last time. This is what happens when you kill big Robo Brosses too soon the first time you fight them. You don't actually learn the fight. I'm slowly learning what he even does. I'm saving my dashes for that. There we go. And now he's dead. Okay. Overall, fun boss. Not too difficult. Look at that life recovery, though. Yes, dude. Get the normal chests. Those chips, they be healing, though. Right, now. Gust of Shadows. Maxed out. Blade Aura. One more in it. Projectiles knock enemies back. That's going to be annoying for my dashes, but uh, I've got the roses. Why not? Give me this. Cauterization buff, frost armor, two percent. Uh, that's that's like one every two minutes or so. I can't really rely on that. I mean, does Panis get chilled? 
Because reducing his attack by 5% is better than 2% damage reduction for me. I'm not sure which is which, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now. Now, Star Badge. Increase main weapons basic attack and skill attack if you're at full health. <laughs> I had a plan. An amazing plan. No. No. <laughs> for the Panis fight? No. I am not going with a flawless no damage run or a, or a max life build. There's no way. No way in hell. Increase gems gained from enemies or reduce damage from burns. The greed ring came way late. We're so deep in the run right now. You gotta be kidding me, son. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I can't benefit from that now. Are you insane? I can get my aura active, though, that I was supposed to turn on before. There we go. Nice. Slash and dash. Slash and dash the build. Uh, bonus chance for good ice cores to appear. We've already got most of the good ice cores, to be honest. Is there a dude alive somewhere? Where? God, you're so annoying. Where are you? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a lightning dragon who is shooting me with annoying attacks. Not doing much damage, though. See, look, even at level 12, that the enemies themselves don't necessarily have to do stupid levels of damage to me, right? I can be tanky and do good damage and have all these nice things, right? However, Panis doesn't seem to agree that that's how the game works. Panis just seems to think, you know what? You're a noob, die. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. All these unstoppable enemies? Why are you all so unstoppable? Get, get stopped. Look at that attack speed, though. God, look at that attack speed. Cryo upgrades. Give me the wall. Give me the wall. Freezing burst. Ah, 6% more attack versus 2% armor. I'll take 6% more attack. Why not? I need to save up my gems. I wonder if I should even worry about opening up chests. Although, all the chests seem to be risk chests. Oh, no, there's one. That's not. Uh, more dash damage boost stuff. Why not? 50 is pretty cheap. Uh, ice core damage, worth it. I'm saving my gems because I want to reduce the uh, the risk level and see if it really helps with Panis, like I was saying before. But I should have enough by the time I get past Electra. So at least, I want to reduce it by at least like three or four. Maybe five if I get the chance, you know, like, like significant. To the point where you could say, you know, the difference between difference with 11 and 12 might be kind of stupid, like there's not much difference there. But I have to assume the difference between like 12 and say 7 or 6 is noticeable enough that you could honestly say, yeah, dude, you really need to reduce that. Being at 12 versus 7 is basically like tripling the difficulty of the fight. I love the tunes though. The music they chose to uh, put in these new stages is godlike. You really get the Neon City vibes going on. Oh, stop it. I'm so glad that they've put a, uh, a healing thing here. I'm not healing back as much life as I wanted to from my stupid injection effect. Because these enemies are in the air. They're like airborne and aggressively annoying right now. I just took a lightning upgrade by mistake. Increased critical attacks by 4.5%. You know what? That's not even bad. Give me this. I should be taking more of the other elements anyway. My, my frost element stuff is kind of finished, I should say. Or almost finished. But I wanted that damage reduction. Uh, ooh, healing effects by another 10% or another 20% on the boxing gloves. Gimme. Open this up and we get... Uh, trash! I'll take gems. Upgrade, please. Did I land in that lightning? Did I land in your lightning, you stupid lightning dragon nonsense thing? Look at that ball be charging. These balls, by the way, they charge across the screen so far that if you end up at the end of the room and you're wondering what is left alive, I guarantee you it's a ball. I get- look, he's gonna take off. I, I gotta run all the way over here now. I guarantee you it's a bull. You're annoying, Mr. Bull. Mr. Moo Cow. There's gonna be more bulls here, too. Where are they? Can I kill you before you charge? No, he's taken off anyway. Nah, that'd be alright. Here, let me do this. I see you've got poison activated right now. I see I have my- my attack speed activated right now. I see I've blown you up. They are still doing some decent damage to me, though. Like, I'm getting injured here. Although, like I said, this is at difficulty 12. See, it's not its not all that bad. It's not impossible. It's not super stupid. Although that poison is getting really annoying. And the balls down here are also really annoying. It's okay. We can recover. We've got food. Don't. 
Gosh, it's so annoying. Yeah, let me activate my aura again. Aura, aura, aura. And then he's off. I gotta catch him before he gets a chance to turn around and start doing things. Yeah, stop it. Stop doing things. Don't do stuff. You know how you do stuff? Stop doing stuff. We have the wall. There we go. Another 0.3% with damage reduction. So it's at 1.8% per frost core. Is it per frost core normally or per frost core as well as their upgrades? That's what I want to know. Where is it? Where is it? They all look the same. Where's where's the wall? That's vulnerability. Where's where's the wall? Is that it there? That's the wall, right? Uh, for each cryo core you have. I guess it's just cores on their own. The levels don't count. Otherwise, it'd be really busted. But what did I say last time? Like 12 unique cores? Something like that. Pretty good. Max, what have you got for me? Reload and energy. I mean, I'll take Max just because he's got life. <laughs> just because he offered me a, a life upgrade. But I'll take it once I'm done here. Although there's another life upgrade right there as well. There's a, a gambly one. So, Max, stop it. Max energy and reload speed. I'll take that. I'll pop this open real quick and take... Increased damage done to immobilized enemies. I'm not going to be able to immobilize anyone. And I'm not killing enemies either. Whatever, just give me this. I'll come back and get that life up once I'm done clearing through. Die. Please die. Please die. You're all super aggressively annoying right now. Ow. I'm doing my best, dude. I'm doing my best. There we go. Activate the invincibility to freeze those dudes above me real quick. He has revived. He is dead. Cryo. Let's go. Is there any unique cryos I haven't got? Froststorm, actually. Hang on. Replace the sub-weapon with Froststorm. That's a new cryo core. That's like an extra 1.8% base that I can get for defense or damage reduction. Not bad, not bad. Is that the room? That is the room. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm a little bit, little bit anxious about this Electra fight with a build that's not the spinning Beyblade, I'm gonna come in here and do this and grab that life up. Okay, Elect Bay. Let's go. Activate. Yo, stop. Whoa. Ow. I tried my best to dodge that. Did damage though, dude. It did some damage to me. Yo, we're doing some damage though. Not gonna lie. Not doing the worst in the world right now. Actually injuring her. Shoutouts to hurting ladies. Who deserve it. <laughs> I have to add that. Specifically ladies who deserve it. Hashtag loving the women's. Please. Die. Yo, ow, ow, ow. I thought that was a safe spot. Okay, there are no safe spots with that attack. With this one, you gotta be careful, though. That big lightning bomb from the sky, that does some damage. Okay, these things. Do I get to learn what you guys actually do? They're shooting projectiles. Oh, I see. You guys are mad annoying. You shoot projectiles. Here, let me just immune through this. There we go. Get some life back. Use it or lose it. Activate this in the meantime. Pop my little ampoule buff. Ma'am. Okay, I get it. You really like this attack. It's it's a fun attack. You enjoy doing... Okay. Activate my aura again. Alright. Alright. Actually, you know what? Can you go back to doing that, that rushing, dashing attack? That was way, way more simple to deal with. Really? These things are just lingering, huh? I thought I was doing more damage at first, but she seems to be taking less now. Or oh, my damage just dropped off. Either way. Alright, destroy that, destroy that. Ow, ow, no. Oh, trying really hard not to get stuck in that. I mean, all things considered, she's not murdering me. I'm going to shoot this for the... Oh, no, I went backwards into it. Oh, dude, that attack has pushback. Oh, no, don't shoot the frost core thing. It pushed me back into it. Oh, that was sucky sucky. That was the, the hard sucky sucky right there. That was bad. Man, you are all over the screen. She may not hit as hard as, as Pan Boy, but... God damn, she is all over the screen. Oh! Okay, lady, there was like one safe spot right there. That was that was wicked rude. Can I make you dead? Can I make you dead? 
die. Yo! She gets savage when she gets low on life. Okay, you really want her to die fast. We get a little bit of life back. Oh, whoa, by a little bit, I mean full HP recovery. All right, all right, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, here's where I need to start trying things out. Go down to that, go down, wait, what? Wait, does it only cost 50 at a time? What? No, it's meant to, what? It only costs 50 at a time, what? No way. No way. I call shenanigans. Enemies knocked back into a wall. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do any of that. That's no way, dude. Uh, reduce damage taken by a percentage of max life. That's pretty good. Can I get more of those? I'll just buy all of those, dude. Needle Ice, Frozen Spear. I mean, this is my, my dash damage. I need to take this for the dash synergy. Um, what if I just unload a buttload of investment into these Enhanced Champions belts? and get big damage reduction benefits. I'm just gonna unload, dude. I'm unloading, I don't care. Give me all the damage reduction. What are we at? 4.75% damage reduced based on, on my life. Um, tell me exactly how that translates. Where's the, where is it? There. So 4.75% of max HP. Only a max of 30% is applied. Okay, so if, hey, as long as that's getting close to that effect, 4.75% of max HP. So if my max life is 635, I'm getting 4%. Wow! I think I've gone over. No, no, 10% is the, wait, I'm close. I'm close to it. I'm actually close to getting that effect. The maximum of 30% damage reduction, okay. So I've got big damage reduction from a lot of different effects right now. My assault level is down to one. I didn't realize that you could just come in here and reduce assault level down to one for the final boss fight. There's no way. Is this, is this accurate? Is this accurate? Is this what we're doing here? Well, he's still got good HP on him himself. He's still not dying super quickly. Yeah, he's, he's not doing too bad. Big man McMain isn't doing too bad over here. He's living, he's living. He's living his best life. Do a bunch of dashing on him. Save some dash charges for going through this. Boom, boom. Oh, see, this is annoying. The fire attacks are actually really annoying because the burn, dude. The burn lingers. The burn does so much damage over time. Although, I'm not... Really? So, has the danger level just affected his damage done but not his life? Because he's, he's still tanky, but he's not... I'm on full life. I've healed up. No. He just hit me and did no damage. Bruh, no way. Okay, uh, oh yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see. I'm gonna shoot one of these at you. I am so bothered. I am mad, son. Look, he takes no, he does nothing. He's a weak old man. <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad that this effect is so... Just that you're weak, old man! I'm going into my thing, though, because he's, he's actually threatening me a little bit in the final form here. No. Okay, doing this at, at Assault Level 12, though? Let's be real. That is the... That, he's the... Dude, come on! Oh. Okay, I now need to make sure I do this at Assault Level 12 at some point, because that... That is the dream, beating him when he's doing like 400 damage a hit. Oh, you satisfied mortal, you've avenged your parents' deaths. Happy? At peace even? None of your business, I'll take my time coming in two terms with what I've done after cleansing the world of this floating city. My death won't lead to the destruction of Esperanza. Esperanza's destruction will be when I die. What the hell's happening here? No way, is there another fight? There is not another fight after that. Is that a giant robot fight? Dude! What is a giant mech? I am so mad right now that not only do you have to fight Panis, you have to fight a giant robo mech up. What is going on? Did he teleport? What the hell? Oh, hello. Hello. He's, he's trying to punch me. He's trying to give me the good punch. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, balls! Son! 
sun. Here, activate this. That looks like it's problem. Ah, I can just stand here. <laughs> I can invalidate your stupid beam. Double jump up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that. I've got those attacks figured, dude. Try something better. Teleporting back over the other side, are we? Oh, hello. I can stand up close and personal to you here too. Okay, that's the balls, right? Did he even shoot them? Hello? There are the balls. Hey, guess what? I can just do this. No oh, dash. Yeah, dude. If I go down and around like that. Yeah, there we go. Yo, whoa. All right. I was worrying, wondering when the, the, the giant cannons. Yo, Yoronos. Giant robo brain. Yo, I see the brain in there. Shout outs to Dr. Wheelo from Dragon Ball Movie. Uh, what is it? Earth's Strongest? Earth's Mightiest? I forget the exact name. Shout outs to Dr. Wheelo. Giant brain in a robo body. Uh, dude. Dude, can I just ask you politely? This fight on, on Assault Level 12 might also be a problem. I didn't realize that there was another fight after Panis. That's insane. Panis identity. Okay, is that it? Yay! This looks dangerous. Can't you use your barrier to protect me? This entire place is in danger of destruction. Please run. <laughs> Leg it. <laughs> she barely gets outside. Oh, you had time to leave that. that oh, dude, you got way out of there. It wasn't even that bad. Nice explosion. Is, is, is that it? That it? Have we done it? Yay! We did it! Look at that sunset, though. Pretty! Damn, that thing moved fast. Look how far back it got already. Nice. The ship has taken off. We did it. We killed Panis. We, we knocked the wind out of Electra. Yay! Ending sequence. Oh, that's sick. Look at the katana stuck in the bug right there. Damn, now I gotta go back and do this with Kill, with Jenny. See their unique end sequences. I wanna see if Kill gets like a chainsaw stuck in the dude's gut. Or if Jenny is sitting there with like three or four of her little uh, clone dudes. Anyway, my first official win on Blade Assault all the way through 1.0 full release with Darcy's dash run. It was a lot of fun and we now know exactly what I did wrong. <laughs> Last time in leaving it at Assault level 12, the difference in difficulty is noticeable. It is noticeable. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some Blade Assault and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.